All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just hope that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you stay strong and wise in the Lord. You stay upright for the most high. You keep fighting a good fight of faith. You stay on that narrow path. You keep walking by faith and not by sight. You keep on trusting in the Lord along your journey. You help out as much people as you can along the way as you're doing Father's business and Father's will forever. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us going in and coming out. And let us just also just thank him for his word, his promises, his covenant, his love, his grace, his mercy that endures forever. And let's just thank him for his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. So there's always something to praise the Lord about and be thankful for, even in the midst of a trying time or a trial, tribulation, or hardship. Just trust in the Lord through it all. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Body of Christ, what's going on with you all? I thank you all for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I appreciate all of you. I love you all. Praying for you all. Okay, so let's keep encouraging each other in the Lord and uplifting each other in Christ. Okay. And always understand we can't do nothing without the Lord. We can't do nothing without Christ. We can't bear fruit without him, all right? So let us always be mindful of that. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everybody. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, it is all right. Let us gather together, be in unity with the Most High. And let's just be together as one on one accord. Amen. And walk in love, harmony, peace, and togetherness, cooperation, and put away all the indifferences, pride, prejudice, spirits, bias, or what have you. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God, Father of our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us always do Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until his son comes back. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us be hardworking. Let us not be idle. Let us not be lazy. Let us always be diligent, hardworking, pressing towards the Lord always, because the Lord is a reward to those who seek him diligently, okay? So let us always work hard in the Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So in today's message, uh, we are continuing our Bible reading series, all right? The last episode, we left off at Second John. Now we are in the book of Third John, all right? So we're going to go through the book of Third John. We'll close out with a prayer, we'll close out with a priestly blessing, and we'll close out with giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten Son, who died for our sins, amen. So before I read 3 John, I just want to read the commentary and the introduction before it, prior to it, all right? So here we go. The author, the Apostle John, the audience, Christians in all the early churches, specifically a friend named Gaius, Gaius, Date between 80, 85, and 95. The setting, John commends Gaius for showing hospitality to traveling teachers and warns church leaders who reject these teachers. Essentials of John of Third John. In this personal note to Gaius, the Apostle John provides valuable glimpses into the channels of authority in the early church. The problems John addresses, self-proclaimed authority and lack of authentic hospitality remain problems for the church today. Like John's friend, Gaius, we need encouragement to focus on the task God gives us, even when other believers oppose us. As you read this letter, allow it to remind you to cling to the truth even when you face expected but discouraging issues regarding interpersonal relationships within the church. What to look for in Third John? The pleasure of faithful Christians, the value of hospitality, the dangers of self-proclaimed authority, the importance of encouragement. Here we go. The elder to my dear friend Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Dear friend, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well. It gave me great joy to have some brothers come and tell about your faithfulness to the truth and how you continue to walk in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Dear friend, you are faithful in what you are doing for the brothers, even though they are strangers to you. They have told the church about your love. You will do well to send them on their way in a manner worthy of God. It was for the sake of the name that they went out, receiving no help from the pagans. We ought, therefore, to show hospitality to such men so that we may work together for the truth. I wrote to the church, but Diotrephus, 
who loves to be first will have nothing to do with us. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing, gossiping maliciously about us. Not satisfied with that, he refused to welcome the brothers. He also stops those who want to do so and puts them out of the church. Mm. Dear friend, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Anyone who does what is good is from God. Anyone who does what is evil has not seen God. Demetrius is well spoken of by everyone and even by the truth itself. We also speak well of him, and you know that our testimony is true. I have much to write to you, I have much to write you, but I do not want to do so with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon, and we will talk face to face. Peace to you. The friends here send their greetings. Greet the friends there by name. All right, all right. So that is the book of Third John reading right there. All right, so these letters are very short, but very effective, and whether he's writing to an individual or a, a, a person or a church all in all it's a great read that we could all apply to our personal lives and to um, always make sure we show love and hospitality and welcome people and help people and comfort support them through their journeys in christ amen so that's basically what john was getting that through gaius in this letter okay two two guys through this letter okay so there you have it all right that's the third john reading right there all right so what i would love to do as i close out is give all the praise honor and glory to the most high god of abraham isaac and jacob and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So here we go. Yes, yes, y'all. Most definitely. Hallelujah. He is the hope for humanity, y'all. He is the Adam, the second Adam, the last Adam, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father. The faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the image of God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, he is the king of Israel, amen. He is the King of Kings, hallelujah. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Hosanna, Hosanna, King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb, the Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my salvation, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my deliverer, the Lord is my redeemer, the Lord is my healer, the Lord is my branch, the Lord is my salvation, he is my high tower, the Lord is my refuge, he is my protection, he is my everything. Yes, yes, y'all, the Lord is with us, who is against us? Amen. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, and turn that rise up in judgment shall be condemned. Amen. The inheritance of the saints, y'all. The Lord our God is one. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Baragatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Elohim, the consuming fire, Yehosha, Yehusha, Ahai, Yeshaya. Yes, yes, he is the God of heaven and earth. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is a sufficient one. He is a sustainer. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He is the carpenter who can fix all things. Hallelujah. With the Lord, nothing is too hard for the Lord. He is able. He is worthy. He made all this in six days and rested on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Most definitely, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Call on the name of the Lord. He'll show you great, mighty things, okay? Yes, yes, got to have faith, people. Faith without works is dead, okay? Be in alignment and obedience, people. Alignment and obedience, okay? He is awesome. Father and Son is awesome. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb. 
the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yahusha, Yahusha, Yeshua. He is the word of the almighty, true, and living one. His, the word is a double-edged sword. The word is purifying silver, as David said in Psalms. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. We serve an awesome creator, and the Son is amazing for dying for our sins. Yes, yes. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. It's the helper. It is guiding us and comforting us and helping us and counseling us. Amen. It's getting us through in these times that we're in, y'all. Boast in the Lord. Boast in the Lord. Boast in the Lord. Declare what the Lord has delivered you and set you free from what he's brought you through and how he got you out of that situation. Amen. By his outstretched arm, his mighty hand, the finger of God is amazing. Amen. Yes, yes, both in the Lord, his son is awesome. He is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. We touch and agree, amen. In the authority and in the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new life, new blessings, new seasons, new dreams, new visions, new prosperity, new love, new scenery, new habits, new routines, new lifestyle, new choices, new attitude, new outlook, renewed strength. Renewed strength, restoration, healing, deliverance. I'll speak those things over your life. Firm, faith, stability, steadfast, consistency, obedience, faithfulness, loyalty. I'll speak those things over your life in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, amen. We touch and agree, y'all. Yes, yes. So that's the word for today, all right? The book of Third John reading. All right, so there you have it. I just pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life with from the Most High. I pray that the Lord turn it around for you and that he changes everything inside of you and outside. Let the Lord have his way. Let, 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 let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord use you. Let the Lord mold you, purify you, and refine you. All right. Change your heart and change the way you go about things from now on. Amen. In Jesus' name, y'all. So what I love to do as I close, I'll give y'all this priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. Got much love for you all. Praying for you all. Love you all. Peace.